Yo, 051 Wu did an interview, and I just seen it, and it was a wonderful interview. Most people who see who see the interview are probably fans of drill music, suburban kids, whatever. They want to hear about his brother, you know, Melly, 051 Melly, who's alleged who's alleged to be a serial killer. That's what they like, you know. But when I see an inter- when I seen that interview with Wu, the first thing that I thought of was, man, this guy's very intelligent. He's easy to talk to, personable. He has all the qualities and character that he needs to succeed. He can succeed in whatever he puts his mind to. And another thing that I think about is the fact that these guys signed up for this gang life at 12 years old. And now that they're 30, you know, the, the decision that they made at 12 is still affecting them at 30. It's like their 12-year-old self has enslaved their 30-year-old self. Because once you get to about 30, you start to analyze and see the big picture. And you understand that I don't want to live a lifestyle where I'm constantly at war with my own people. You understand what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, man. And, and the fact that 051 Wu actually has actually said that the guys who he's been beefing with for the past almost 15 years were his friends at one point. There was a one, there was one year when everything hit the fan and alliances were formed. This click got beef with that click. This click got beef with that click. And what happens is former friends are now enemies because the clicks have been established and you have to pick a side and the clicks are killing each other. So you have to pick a side. You know, there is no, you know, you can't be on the fence when murders are happening. You have to pick a side. And the fact that the majority of these young black men were friends with each other when they were in school, and then when they got out of school, they started warring with each other troubles me. It makes me upset. It makes me sad because I hear this story all too much. Gang members, these gang wars are fought between former friends. These guys were friends at one point in time. Now they hate each other and they're going to war. You understand? And then what happens is the next generation inherits that war. They aren't friends with the other side. They never had a relationship with them. And it leads to more violence because all they know is the OGs had beef with them. And we're fighting them now. We've inherited their war. The original generation that started the war were friends with the other side. They were buddies with the other side. They kicked it with them. They were good friends, best friends. Then something happens and they go to war. And the alliances are picked. Then the next generation, the youth rises up and they inherit that war. They don't even know what the war was about. They don't even know that both sides used to be friends, but one single event disrupted everything. All they know is we've been at war with them for 10 years. Now it's my time to pick up the gun. It's my time to earn my stripes. It's my time to earn my rep. And it's sad, man. And like I said, 05, 051 Wu is very intelligent. You know, the first time he I seen him was when he did that Zach TV interview and he was very intelligent then. So... You know, peace to him, and I hope he does well, man. Peace.